Hello everyone and welcome back again to this training series. My name is Kuda from Zimbabwe and today I just want to show you how to um, um, add security to your blockchain account. So before I show you all the steps that you need to take to add security to your blockchain account, as you can see these are all the transactions happening uh, in blockchain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on wallet. Now I'm going to try to log in into my account and I want to actually send someone some some money and I want to show you what happens as I log into into my account so as you can see I'm actually logged in there are two options uh, that I can log in I can use the new blockchain wallet or the league as league is just like maybe the old um, version of the wallet so what I do is uh, I click on log blockchain so automatically my wallet ID is already filled in so what I do here is I in my password so I want to show you something just take a look what happens okay and then as you can see it says please enter two FA code so before I enter it's asking me for the email code so each time I try to enter into my blockchain um, they ask me for the email code so what I do is I go back to my email and then check for the for the code so this is the code that they uh, they want and as you can actually read, an attempt has been made to log into your wallet IP address. So this is actually the IP address, blah, 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 blah. So this is the code that they want. And now I come back here and then I simply paste the, the code here. And then I want to do what I want to do is actually to sign in uh, into my blockchain account. So that's how I can basically sign into my blockchain account. So as you can see, this is actually my balance here and it's actually six hundred and seventy seven dollars i want to send someone some bitcoins so as you can see um, let me just uh, look for the bitcoin address on my whatsapp um, i normally use whatsapp on a, on a computer it's quite handy so uh, actually this is the bitcoin that i need to use to send uh, that i need to send bitcoin so i come back to blockchain so when i click on send now when i click on send i'm gonna uh, select the Bitcoin address that I need to send from and what I do is I'm gonna paste the Bitcoin address where I'm supposed to send the Bitcoin so uh, I'm supposed to send this guy um, $419 point okay it's point $419 point 40 cents okay that's point four so that's about uh, that's about it and yeah I just want to say um, type in a message it's optional to type in a message here yeah? it is optional so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you again another added security that is on my blockchain account so if i click the next step i'm going to be uh, asked to confirm if everything is correct if that's the bitcoin address and yeah and that's the money and the 419 and when i hit send i'm going to be asked for a second password so what this means is each time I want to send out money I have to punch in the second password so um, I'm just gonna punch in my second password and if someone if so if your account is being is has been hacked someone doesn't know your, uh, your second password they won't be able to send it between so what I do here is I click on submit now when I click on submit actually the bitcoins have been actually been uh, deducted for my for my account as you can see it has reduced the, the price uh, the, 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 the value then if I can say so um with that being said look I had I had um I had security on my I had security on my on my on my login okay I had security on my login and I had security when actually sending uh the bitcoins and uh, there's so many ways of how you can actually secure your bitcoin uh, account so uh, another way is actually to use an sms feature okay another way is to use what is known as a g as a ga which means a google authenticator and another way is actually to use an email an email feature okay so i recommend the email feature the reason i recommend the email feature is uh, an email is actually easy for everyone to use um, so that each time someone tries to log into your account an email was sent uh, anyone can access an email from anywhere in the world so if you lose your cell phone i mean the sms you won't get the sms and if anything happens to your cell phone and actually the ga again is actually good so my preference is actually this is my number one the email is my number one and my number two is actually the ga and then my number three is the the sms uh, the sms feature here so 
Um, I'm going to show you how to um, add all the security features. So now to continue uh, with this uh, video on how to uh, add security to your blockchain account, I've been playing around with the uh, with the settings here, and I've been using the version previous version to this, and it had easy settings on how to set up your uh, security for this uh, wallet, like I've shown you on the few on the few minutes ago so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on wallet information and it is called um this is actually the identifier and um that's actually the identifier that you see right here and then here on the pairing uh code let's say you want to use an application a mobile application which i have on my phone once you are you we are using a uh, ios or android device you just need to download the application it's going to give you an option to scan um to scan this code so that you can actually pay it with your with your mobile app so it's really easy that way and then to move on if you click on preferences preferences basically is uh, made by if you maybe if you want to get some notifications on your on your email or on your phone number and languages and other setups here that you can actually enable and i really don't know what um bitcoin links it in what it means and i really don't know what it means really so um yeah um auto log out like when you are inactive for some few minutes and then it's, it's gonna be um uh log you out of the system so to move on uh where did this move it just okay um so to move on what we're going to do here is um recovery uh thing you just need to click on the backup phrase and follow the steps uh, you'll be required to save some papers and print some few things so that you can actually recover your wallet once you lose it and um wallet password basically is actually your password and then password hint i have not stored anything let's say you forget your password you can use, uh, put a hint there and then second password uh is basically when you want to draw funds uh you can actually you know put the second password as i shown you as i've shown you in the in a few minutes ago so that you can actually when sending some bitcoins you ask for the uh, second password so it depends with um what's uh, how your account is set up you might need to enable it mine was already enabled there yeah. and actually the second step verification this is whereby when you're trying to log into your um, blockchain account mine is actually disabled right now because i had an email verification but when i was playing around with it so that i can do this video I played around and I couldn't see the email verification as well. So uh, now, if I can click on this one and to enable, there's the Google Authenticator. It's actually actually an application. And if you press this button, there's actually a mobile and SMS um, feature whereby they send you an SMS uh, to log into your account, or you can actually download the application. Well, I don't prefer to use both uh, because they are also both are uh, used on a mobile device. So you can actually play around with this and then uh, you know um, add what you prefer i actually if i have the second uh, wallet password i'm actually, I'm actually okay with that so and then there's actually the uh, second step verification second step verification basically is actually the um, just something to do with ip or the browser that you'll be using and then that's it and then if you can click on the, your addresses here basically you can actually uh, uh, add some new bitcoin addresses if you have more than one and then if you click here with bitcoin address so basically this is actually my bitcoin address and that is done so that's what you do to set up your secret but guys if you're not sure what you're doing please get assistance so that you can get help on how to add security to your blockchain account it is very very important that you do this correctly and uh if you don't do this correctly you might lose your your bitcoin so with that being said thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next uh, video